Hi everyone, Jessica Westoven here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about therapeutic approaches within art education. To start off with, I want to define art education and art therapy as they are two completely different approaches. Art education is more educationally driven, meaning art educators focus on standards that they have to complete and curriculum for their students. Art therapy, on the other hand, is a tool to help improve cognitive, self-esteem, self-awareness, emotional and physical issues with patients. A disclaimer, our educators cannot diagnose and or treat patients or students. Going through my resources, I found Dr. Lisa Kay, a credible figure throughout my project. In her book, Therapeutic Approaches in Art Education, she gave some helpful teaching tips, as well as notable writing talking about art teachers and art therapists working with children with trauma. Why connect trauma? I want to show the audience that therapeutic approaches in art education really allow space and time to heal and or support children with stress, anxiety, depression, and or thoughts and ideas that need to be communicated that can be done so visually. And these techniques can include collage, coloring, doodling, sculpting, painting, and photography. If you would like more information that supports my reasoning behind therapeutic approaches, supporting trauma in children, please watch this video with Bruce Moon and Priscilla Frank. I chose three different contemporary artists that I would love for any art educator to incorporate in their classroom, preferably high school or middle school. George Harding, who expresses himself through painting. Most of his self-portraits are distorted. As his mental health, he wanted to show how distorted his thoughts were. Okay, and you can see that in his brushstrokes and his cool colored tones. Kim Noble is also a very interesting artist as she is diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. With her different personalities, you can tell through her different paintings that she has different feelings and emotions. And lastly, jean michel Besquet, who is a credible graffiti artist that also shows expressive brush strokes and doodling that you can really take a Snapchat of his brain. For my creative project, I wanted to incorporate a prod, excuse me, a lesson that I taught to my high school students. It is a project that really promotes self-expression and different mediums. And you can see this lesson plan here. The ending, I wanted to incorporate an art education component. I tested my students with different movements and styles. That way they really get a feeling of the mediums while they are participating in this project. They were prompted to stretch a canvas and to turn their canvas counterclockwise every five minutes with a different medium. This really forced them not to bring up a subject matter. I wanted them to feel the medium to really see what the outcomes would or may look like. Lastly, I want you to interact. Looking through Lisa Kay's website, I found this mindful studio breathe activity that I took part in as well. If you click on this, it will send you to a link for the activity. Please feel free to click on this reflection and documentation so that we can all see our different processes in breathing. And I found this to be very relaxing. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you have any questions or qu concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.